Hi there! In this video, we are going to talk about one of the topics that I found to be really interesting, which is vector database search. Specifically, we are going to dive into one of the most, if not the most popular algorithms in vector database indexing, the hierarchical navigable small words. To start with, let's define what we mean by vector databases and vector search. In short, vector databases are used to store high dimensional vectors where each vector represents some kind of data, like an image or a piece of text, whose core structure would be that the closer those vectors are, the more similar the corresponding data would be. For instance, if we have the following two sentences, today the weather is sunny and it's a sunny day, they are quite similar and the two vectors representing them should be close to each other. On the other hand, those two sentences, today the weather is sunny and Paris is the capital of France, have nothing in common, so the corresponding vectors should reside further away compared to the previous example. And finally, if we have the following sentences which present opposing facts, their corresponding vectors should be even further apart. Now, when it comes to vector search, the goal of this task is to find the top k most similar vectors to a given query vector. The naive approach would be to simply compute the similarity between the query vector and every single vector in the database, which is known as the brute force method. However, as you can imagine, this approach becomes impractically slow as the size of the database grows, having an O of n time complexity. So, how can we do better? One way to speed up the search process is to use a data structure called a navigable small word, which is a graph where each node represents a vector. The way we create this graph is as follows. Imagine we have a database of documents and each document is represented by a vector. It can construct a navigable small word graph by simply connecting each document to its k most similar images in an iterative way. So we pick a document from the database and we add it to the graph. Then we pick another document we find the closest key documents to that document, which right now is only the previous document we have added, so we link the two. Then, we add another document, and we connect it again with the key nearest documents we have added so far. And we repeat this step again and again and again, until we have added all the documents in the database in our graph. Now, let's say we want to find the most similar documents to a query. Navigable small words, we start at a random node in the graph and then we look at the neighboring nodes and we move to the one that's the closest to our query. If the distance of that neighboring node to the query is smaller than the distance of the current node to the query. Then we look again at the neighboring nodes of the next node and we move to its neighboring node that's the closest to our query. And this process is repeated until we get a node where none of its neighbors are closer to the query than that node is. Also, in practice, this process of randomly clicking a node in the graph and then navigating it is repeated several times to collect a larger range of nodes, which is still much faster than the brute force approach because we are only considering a small subset of the entire database. The second important idea in hierarchical navigable small words is a data structure, namely the skip linked list, which is a variant of linked list where each node can have a skip pointer that points to a node further down the list. This allows us to quickly skip over large portions of the list, making it much faster to search. Now, let me illustrate this with an example. Let's imagine that we have the following skip link list and we are searching for the node with the value 11 in it. You can observe here that each node has multiple links to the other nodes, some of them closer, some of them further away and that the higher levels tend to have less links and the lower levels contain more links, with the lowest level containing all the nodes. So, what do we do? Well, we start at the first node and ask, is the next node higher than 11 or smaller? In this case, the next node is the end node, which means that we have to go down. Now, the next node is 13, which is greater than 11, so we go down again. Now, we check the next node, which is lower than 11, so we move to that node now. The next node is 13 again, which is greater than 11, so we move down again. The next node is now 11, which is exactly what we wanted to find, so we end the search. And now, to create a hierarchical navigable small words, we combine the two concepts we have presented so far, navigable small words and skip linked lists. 
In this data structure, similarly to skip linked list, we have a lower level which has more nodes and more connections. In the upper level, which has less nodes and less connections, and we say that the bottom level is more dense and the top one is more sparse. So how does this search work in this graph? Suppose we have a query, just like before, and we want to find the closest k node. To do that, we again select a random entry point in the upper level of this graph and then we visit it. Now, we compare the cosine similarity of this node and all of his neighbors with the query and we obtain, for instance, that this node is closest, so we go down. We perform this step again, we compute the cosine similarity of this node with the query and all of his neighbors with the query and we see that this node here has a better cosine similarity score, so we go down again. Then, we check this node here with all his friends and we see that this one is the closest one, so we go there. Also, in this node, we compare the cosine of this node with the query and all of his neighbors and see that this one here has the best similarity, so we go down. And then, we do this test again and calculate the cosine similarity score of this node and the query and also of all its neighbors with the query and we see that this neighboring node has the best similarity, so we go there. Finally, when we are in this node, we assert that there is no other neighboring node that has a better cosine similarity. So we stop the algorithm here. Now, as in the navigable small words algorithm, the final step is to take all these vectors that we have visited, sort them, and return the top k best matching based on the similarity score that we are using. Before ending this video, I would like to talk a little bit about what improvements we get by using this type of vector search compared to the brute force approach, which has an O of n time complexity, where n is the number of vectors in the database. In short, the hierarchical navigable small words algorithm offers a significant improvement in the average search time complexity, reducing it to O of log n. The key insight behind hierarchical navigable small words is that the hierarchical structure allows you to take advantage of the property that nearby vectors tend to be clustered together in the high dimensional space and by starting the search at the coarse level and gradually refining it, the hierarchical navigable small words can efficiently eliminate large regions of the search space that are unlikely to contain the target vector. This results in a significant reduction in the number of vectors that need to be examined, leading to a time complexity of O of log n. And that's basically it folks, thanks for watching, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time, bye bye!